early start today. We gotta get down to Platteville, Colorado. See what led us to this point. See what we got going on today. Let's get this day started. Goodness, I filled this thing up yesterday afternoon. Stopped at this uh, Sinclair Travel Plaza. <sighs> yeah, first drink of the day. before we get going but we're at the um, Sinclair Travel Plaza here still in uh, Utah still in 84 we gotta get to uh, going down like towards Saint, or Saint, uh, Salt Lake City but not in Salt Lake so we'll get around before we get to Salt Lake hit 80 Take 80 all the way into Denver. We gotta go through uh, Wyoming, get into Colorado, and then come back down into Denver. Platteville's kind of like off to the side, probably like a little bit east of uh, Denver. So we got an early start today. We got up just a little bit before two o'clock. Trying to get this day started before I hit the road. Looks like I got like 515 miles before we get there. Oh, 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 oh. Taking the shades down. Yesterday when we got, when we were here. It was a hundred degrees outside, man. Whew. This, this little place didn't fill up, man. There's not too many trucks out there. But, uh, yeah, so we got like 515 miles before we get there. It's an 8 a.m. appointment. But, you know, I told him originally when I picked it up, it wasn't going to be there. I told him like 2 p.m., so. I was going to sleep in a little bit more, but I thought I'd probably try to give it some kind of effort <laughs> to get it. I could have started driving at 1 o'clock, but, you know, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, yeah, whatever, so. Finally, we'll get this pre-trip started so we can get on down the road. First, yeah. Oh. I guess it's time to get going. Oh, man. That's the only bad thing about starting so early. Probably, probably take a little while. <laughs> half hour or so to, to really get woke up. Yeah, 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 we know. We're back on 84. 
That's all we've been doing for like four days now. Today's Monday morning. I swear we've been on it. We've been on 84 since uh Golly. Wednesday? Coming all the way in here. Or coming all the way up to Portland. Not coming all the way back. We'll be on I-80 here shortly. Oh gosh, wake up, Just wake up, wake up. Stop in a burger. Brigger, Wyoming, with the TA, exit 30, get a little bit of fuel, I'm not going to fill it up or nothing. After we get unloaded, we're going to go to the terminal, see about getting the oil change and stuff, so... Hopefully we'll be there for tonight. Over in, uh, somewhere over on the outskirts of Denver. Can't really remember the town. Oh well. Henderson, there you go. Henderson, Colorado. All right, we're getting back on. Getting back on. Talk to you guys in a little while. Yeah, 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 I know. Morning. Alright, so the sun is slowly coming up over Wyoming. Bringing rain with it. What the heck? I haven't been through rain in probably like a week being way up north. Get a little bit here in Wyoming, and boom, here you go. Rain. Oh, yeah. It's starting to come down good now. Right, let me deal with this and we'll check in just a little bit. Alright, so we made it here. Platteville, Colorado. We uh, put me right in the door and they're unloading right now. So hopefully it won't take too much time. I only have two hours left. But I told them to, uh, I got to push my availability off. And uh, we're going over, there's a terminal about 35 miles from here. I need to get the you know full service done and couple other little things. We need to get checked out on the truck. No big deal. 
was a ended out a good week. I only had just the three trips, and uh, by finishing this trip, I just finished now. I had uh, 3,402 miles. <laughs> so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we are. Uh, this will be the end of the week. So. They uh, actually gave me another trip to pick up that was going up to Wisconsin and stuff. And I told them, I was like, you need to push me off until tomorrow. I was like, I need to, I got to get this oil changed. I was like, I've put it off long enough. I'm way past due. So I found out with this truck, it never uses any oil. But once it starts using a little bit of oil, you know, that's when I know it's time to get changed. Because, you know, probably like two two Phillips before this one I uh, you know I, I stopped and, you know, every time you get you know get fuel you know I check check everything check the oil and whatnot and uh, the oil is just like just a little bit low it's no big deal so then after the next one there was like a little bit lower so I ended up putting like about a half a gallon in there so I thought I was like all right it's time to get it changed so and this morning I got a little bit of fuel and checked the oil and it was just just a little bit low again so no big deal, nothing to worry about. So, I, uh, we're gonna head on over to the uh, our terminal there in Henderson, Colorado, right off 76. So, we got a little shop over there, so I'll probably just end up finishing the day over there. Uh, get a shower, get something to eat, and kind of relax, and hopefully, it won't take them forever to, to do what they gotta do. But, uh, for right now, we're getting unloaded, we got the red light. They're bumping the trailer. Get this milk off my truck. Yeah, milk in a dry van trailer. It's just a bunch of those little cartons like you'd see like from a, like school lunch or hospitals and stuff like that. I don't know about getting milk in a, in a box truck. Supposedly when they unload it here, it, it gets chilled before it gets shipped out, but I don't know, man. Milk in a dry van trailer. That's all the chemicals and everything they put in those stuff for these days, but I don't know about that. But uh, we're gonna let them get this thing unloaded, send in my paperwork that I'm finished, and we're heading over to the terminal, get the oil changed on the truck. So uh, we'll talk to you guys when we get over to the terminal, I'll let you know what's going on. Hey, what's going on? So we, uh, I don't even know how to <laughs> how to explain things just got crazy so obviously this is the next morning Tuesday morning it's about just a little bit after 3 a.m. and we're about about 18 miles from the terminal we uh, we got unloaded at the uh, excuse me at the milk place there. It took him just about three hours to get unloaded. By that time, my 14-hour uh, clock started ticking. And uh, we got there, and that place is a cluster. Man, uh, if you guys, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, it's the uh, Miller... Miller Coors in uh, Golden, Colorado. Holy cow, man. It was like no signs. You know, you got to try to figure it out by watching other trucks, where they're going and where, you know. So I finally find, like, the inspection area. And she didn't even really inspect the trailer, so that was like a waste of 10 minutes in line. Then go find the area. She just like points over there to you know wherever you know. Drop the trailer over there. Then you got to go across the street to get your loaded trailer. And she just said across the street, and you don't know where to get into the place. But once you get into that lot, then she said you go through the scale, and they give you your bills there. And that, that was like when I finally got in line to get out of there because you go 
or on the parking lot and you find your your loaded trailer and you come up on the scale and you go inside she gives you your bills and you gotta secure your load and everything then you gotta get in line to go on another scale where she checks your bills then you can leave so that whole process took about two hours safe to say when I went to leave I was um, already like 20 minutes over my time and I found out that uh, my company hasn't applied the new rule where if you're at a shipper consigning you're allowed to have a personal drive time to get to a short distance you know for a safe haven and I was at a short distance I just needed to get to the terminal. Well, they haven't updated their policies on that yet. So I ended up driving over my time to get to this TA. Thank goodness I found a parking spot. Even now, this place is a cluster, man. There's like a, a security guard. If you've been to this TA, Denver West, yeah, this place is a man. <laughs> Put it on the list. Don't come back here unless you get here early. The hard thing is now, like if you parked on this side, you know, there's just enough room to get out. But now they got trucks lined up all the way on the side. And I seen a guy a little bit ago, he was trying to get out. And it took him like five minutes to get out because he had to go back, 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 and finally just to get enough room to get out. So we're, gonna, we're just going to turn, go through the pumps, and come back around the backside. So, man. So, now we're on the way to the terminal <laughs> to get the oil changed. You know, it'll you know, be about almost four o'clock once we get there. So, it won't be that bad. Yeah, once we get the uh, trailer dropped and all that good stuff, I can go in and go in there and check in. So hopefully it won't be. Uh, maybe I get lucky. I'll just go right in and something. You know, I can hit it at the right time and I can just cruise right into the shop. You never know. But uh, man, you just sometimes don't know how your day is gonna go. You, you got good plans. Those plans may not work out. So. It, it, it sucked everything that happened, but you know, but thank goodness we had somewhere to park. So let's get on over to the terminal, see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys.